McGovern really is a wonderful place for our entire community, including our faculty, residents, and students. It is a really supportive environment. We really want our students to be very successful. When I came to McGovern, I didn't feel nervous really at all because everyone was so welcoming and so friendly. McGovern Medical School is a really special place. It really is a warm, collaborative environment. I didn't find that there was a competitive spirit, but rather an environment where everybody wanted to see each other succeed. Even though the class is big, we still seem to have this close-knit community and there's camaraderie, if you will, amongst all of the students in the student body. We have a wonderful integrated curriculum here. We have a wonderful team that has worked very hard to make sure that our students are getting a wonderful integration of the basic and the clinical sciences. We really want the uh, students to be exposed to clinical uh, scenarios earlier on so that they can correlate the basic science information that they're learning to what they will be seeing when they're visiting with patients. The way the curriculum takes you through these different organ systems and integrates it and implements it in different ways has been amazing. I love that model of learning because most of our learning happens when we're able to integrate concepts and really understand them. What has been really interesting is watching the school transform from the traditional methods of by topic and instead go by organ systems and integrating all those different specialties and getting to see how the interaction of pathology, anatomy, physiology, pharmacology all come together and make sense. You know, my first year preceptor, they asked me to just do histories and physicals, and they didn't do anything that was outside my range. But as I got into my second year preceptor, they asked me to write more robust notes to get more histories and physicals, to actually write those things up and be able to make it a billable document. And that's something I kind of learned in my second year. A lot of my friends in medical school didn't even know about. Our students have access to patients starting in the first year of medical school. But students are actually in the clinic earlier or on the wards earlier in their experience so they can really relate to and, and correlate all of the basic science information that they are learning. You start off with the anatomy and the physiology and move toward the pathology and the pharmacology and microbiology and it, it really encapsulates everything so well and puts it in the context that you're going to see in the clinic. We often integrate things about ethics, professionalism. We really care about your wellness here at McGovern, so we do a lot of workshops on that. We do unconscious bias training. Our students get an early exposure to psychiatry in the MS one year and actually have the opportunity to interact with real psychiatric patients under faculty guidance. The Clinical Skill Center is here in McGovern Medical School. We use it in surgery, uh, having the students come through and do suture tying and they go through hand tying, um, instrument tying, and uh, often doing practicing sutures on different models. I think it's a great resource. It's there all the time that students can have access to and use, and it's an integral part of our training within the surgical clerkship. My favorite part of the curriculum was actually the professors, because I'm a type of person who asks a lot of questions, and first day of med school, it was a little bit daunting walking into a huge auditorium and feeling like you're one in many, many students with the professor way up in the front, but they were so approachable. After all of our classes, you would just see students rush up to the front of the classroom um, and you know, even start little discussions. And um, I loved how the professors were always very open to questions. And I also appreciated how diverse the student class was. You had people from all walks of life, from all backgrounds. We really provide a, a supportive environment where the students feel very comfortable where they can go up to faculty members, address any issues they have. I feel like they know that we're rooting for them here. We really want, again, to get our students to get to know us, get to know faculty. It's been so rewarding to know that I have people I can share all of my experiences in medical school with. One of the things I like most about being uh, a faculty member at McGovern Medical School is the ability to have close relationships with students beginning at the beginning of their medical school career and extending all the way throughout. There's so many opportunities for the students at McGovern Medical School. We have multiple organizations, we have multiple student interest groups, for example, the student interest group in neurology and psychiatry. There are a lot of Blue Book electives that students can choose to participate in, and there are also cultural groups, there are also wellness groups like body and mind, 
There are community service organizations like Homes Clinic. There's also lots of opportunities for research here in the Texas Medical Center and here at McGovern. And a lot of our students will take advantage of that, especially during their transition from their first and second year. They have a long break and they're allowed to do research and get some meaning scholarly activities. The students get an uh, intensive experience over the summer under the supervision of a principal investigator. One of the greatest things that I also love about McGovern is that they not only take care of their students while they're in the classrooms, but they also take care of them when they're outside the classrooms. I spend some of my time in the classroom, some of it in the library, and then there's also a lot of cool extracurricular things going on. Houston is a really big city, so there is really a lot of opportunities for you to get involved in whatever you want. We study very hard, but we also love to play hard as well, and Houston is a great place for that. Your number one priority is always your schoolwork, but it's nice to know that that's not the only thing. The UT housing is very open to students once they are enrolled into McGovern. It's right next to the rec center. And so whenever you need to go work out, whenever you need to go relax, it's easy to walk over there. We are one of six schools that makes up the University of Texas Health Science Center at Houston. It really allows for interprofessional collaborations and interactions. So our medical students will work with and have the opportunity to interact with students who are in other health-related disciplines. McGovern Medical School is located in the world's largest medical center, where we see such a diverse group of patients from all different walks of life. We have wonderful teaching hospitals and facilities between Memorial Hermann, LBJ, MD Anderson. Our students really get wonderful training here. They give us a great population at Memorial Hermann. They give us a great population at LBJ. I think there are real advantages uh, to attending medical school in a city as large and diverse uh, as Houston. It gives us a very diverse and interesting patient population. I have the opportunities to interact with uh, patients from all over the world. We are a relatively young school. We continue to grow. We have a, a fantastic dean and fantastic leadership. I feel so cared for here. I know I'm supported no matter what life throws at me. I think it's very exciting uh, to interact with uh, a student who has an early interest in my field in the MS one year and see them progress uh, throughout all four years of the training um, and then see the joy and excitement that they have when they open their envelope on match day and at graduation. When I interviewed here I just discovered what was truly a family to me. The faculty and the students made it feel like such an environment where I could succeed. For my whole life, my support system has mainly been my family, and now I can say that I feel like I have a support system here too.